Another of my great uh, heroes is somebody who, who is rather unsung, uh, except at Perimeter Institute. <laughs> and that is Emmy Noether. She was born in Germany, and when she was 18, she went to university to study mathematics. At that time, they didn't allow women to do mathematics in her university, and so she was allowed to audit the classes, but not to take a degree. So she completed the course, and finally persuaded them to let her take the exam, which she did, and she passed with flying colors. And so very reluctantly, they granted her the first ever degree of a woman uh, taking maths at that university. And she went on to do a PhD, and they even allowed her to teach. But because they did not employ any female professors in the university, they never paid her. <laughs> But she continued anyway, she persevered, and she was responsible for many very important breakthroughs in, in science. One of them bears her name, the Noether Theorem. So the Noether Theorem I thought I would illustrate with a simple demo as well. So I need an assistant. The Noether Theorem says that if a physical system has some symmetry, like this object under rotation, that there will be associated with that something which is conserved, something which is a constant. Okay? So if I throw this, then you can... <laughs> we didn't practice that, I promise you. <laughs> Natural talent. Um, when you throw that circle, because the circle is perfectly symmetrical under rotation, it turns out that the velocity with which it rotates is absolutely constant as, uh, as the circle rotates. Whereas, if I pick something more complex, like this lumpy object, which is a PI mug, then uh, if I throw that, the motion is much... <laughs> <laughs> you notice that its motion is much more irregular, and you can't say that it's turning perfectly um, in, in anything like such a simple way. So, Nertha understood that symmetries have this very profound consequence, that there's an associated quantity which is constant. And in particular, she understood why there is something called energy, and why it's constant, why it's conserved. And the answer turns out to be because basically the world is pretty much the same from one moment to the next, if we forget about the expansion of the universe and very big-scale things, the, the, the world around us is the same from one day to the next, and this directly translates into the conservation of energy. And I think you'll agree that's a pretty amazing thing. Energy is an abstract notion. What is energy? Well, Emmy Noether understood what it is, conceptually. And it's the same for momentum and electric charge, and many other quantities which are fundamental in physics. But she's remarkably unrecognized, even though her ideas helped to lay the foundation for all of 20th century physics, which became a search for these symmetries. So at Perimeter Institute, uh, we've created fellowships and programs in her name to encourage young women to enter science and to feel more supported. Because Science, and physics in particular, really benefits from diversity. Diversity of people, of ideas, of cultures, and their interaction. Nobody should be excluded from science because of their background. Uh, it's to everyone's benefit that the brightest and most able people from whatever culture and background they come should be able to enter and progress.